close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch the breath as it comes in, watch it as it goes out. And be prepared for the fact that the mind may not want to stay with the breath, it may want to go someplace else. But you've got to make up your mind, make it your mind, that you want to develop some good qualities in the mind. And this is how you do it. So you, if the mind wanders off, you just bring it right back. Try to maintain that initial, initial intention that brought you here. You want to train the mind, you want it to meditate, you want to get some good qualities inside. And it's going to happen only through your own efforts. Right view is not the only part of discernment. There's also right resolve. Resolve on renunciation, in other words, stay away from the sensual thoughts. Resolve on non-ill will, i.e. resolve on good will and harmlessness. And so if you have good will for yourself, you want the mind to be well trained. So it's not just a matter about learning about the teachings, but wisdom lies in seeing that suffering is a big problem and it's caused by your own actions, so you've got to do something to become more skillful in the way you think, speak, act. So you want to carry through with that wisdom as you keep coming back to the breath, coming back to the breath, and making it enjoyable to come back. This is another part of wisdom, too, is that it's strategic. When you come back, you want to stay here. So to stay here, you want to make it comfortable. So notice what kind of breathing is comfortable, what kind of breathing is not, and encourage the comfortable kinds. That way the mind will be more and more inclined to want to come back and to stay here while it's here. In this way, you're showing goodwill for yourself. Because after all, what, what shapes your life if not your own mind? Because as the Buddha said, what we experience comes out of the mind, comes out of the actions we've done. And the quality of mind with which we act is the important part. If you act with a mind that's full of greed, aversion, and delusion, it's going to weigh you down, drag you down. Whereas you act with a mind that's devoid of these things, okay, it's going to be light. So it's your choice. You want to focus on the quality of the mind to make sure that it's good. When the quality of the mind is good, then other things are going to be good as well. This is the main source. This is where everything comes from. So when the source is good, then the results of things that come out of the source are bound to be good as well. So your main attention should be focused here.